We're here at the Hershey RV show. Here's the map. Let's go check it out. We're just uh, getting special treatment. We just asked a gentleman, where's where's the restrooms? And uh, he led us to a few, and he's like, you know what, let me get you into the star dressing room. So our, our star of the show, Tanya, is, is using the dressing room right now. She's the star. She's getting... Daisy's the star. Da but Daisy didn't come here. I don't know if they would let Daisy in there. <laughs> you need to make Daisy It's like real backstage access. Check this out. The Hershey Bears. The Hershey Bears. I mean, what a perfect name, right? For a candy company to have a team, a sports team called the Hershey Bears. The Bears Brown. Yeah, the Bears. Hi. Hi. Come in. Get in the bathroom. The star's gonna let ah. us in. There it is. Is there a light? Yeah. I turned the light on. I don't know how to do this one. I came in here and I'm like, it's a pitch black. Where do I go? Where are the lights? So, uh, the there's one toilet, 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 and there's one yeah. in the office. So, y'all go in, there's, there's a shower, shower and there's two sinks. sinks. Okay. There's, there's a timer. There's the mirror. You can do your makeup. In, in the bathroom, in the shower. <laughs> so, this video is just kind of our adventure at the RV show. We will do individual videos breaking down the separate RVs that we see. So we'll do them you know, separately for a Brinkley and an Alliance. That way it's searchable, so somebody out there is looking for that specific model RV, they can find that video. You know, add a little of our fun to it, so hopefully people might find us entertaining, slightly, maybe. But yeah, this is just our adventure. Like, how many people get to go backstage in a place like this? This is fun. All right, yep, back at the building. That's where we were, and now we're going to Brinkley's. I can see the tail of a Brinkley right there. I gotta run out to the truck. I've got business cards for us. So we sometimes you get presented with opportunities to make videos by you know a vendor giving a product to you and say we'll give you the product you make a video about it and then we'll check on the video and that's something you know we're interested in doing but in the past we didn't have business cards so they wouldn't do it and so now I got business cards and I left them in the truck. Tony and the girls are eating cheeseburgers and French fries and hanging out with friends and I get to hightail it out to the truck for business cards. Got the business cards, heading back into the RV show. People still heading in. What's up, y'all? How are you? Y'all gonna like tour some RVs or? Give it a so, shot? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine waking up in the morning, stretching and touching the roof. You got that nice window right there. Is it comfy? Yeah. Let's see if it has a kitchen. Hmm. Hooks for your mugs. And the toilet's like a circle. So the toilet's in the shower. Yeah, that's what the last one was. We have been trying to find the ever elusive Coachman Chaparral walking all through the entire Forest River area because the map just says Forest River in a big block and all these Forest River people and salespeople they have no idea where the Coachmans are. They're like, almost like they're fighting amongst themselves between their brands. I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. TRV! Hi! 
So they're not selling the whole thing here. They're selling this part right here, which can then connect to your trailer tire and help you to move your trailer around. That is super awesome. So this is a new system. The company is out of Korea. The uh, jacks can handle up to 22,000 pounds. They can do custom sizes for bigger RVs, but they're kind of starting out with the uh, smaller size. So you've got your leveling jacks and then you've got these awesome remote control movers that can go right on the tires. So you can unhitch from your truck and position your trailer into its spot and then you can level with the whole system. This is awesome. I look forward to seeing what else that they, uh, they do with this company. Kira loves looking at the Class A's. So we're gonna go check out this Integra Coach. So it's always fun for us to go check out these Class A's and how fancy and nice they are and imagine living in the lap of luxury. The problem is is that they don't ever really do bunk houses in a way that you get like a bunk room. Oftentimes a bunk in a Class A is going to be a kind of a closet in a hallway that's just two bunk beds in the closet. That's it. They don't really have their own separate room. So that's why we don't usually do a whole lot of reviews of Class A's. But Kira loves going in these things. So here we are. So Kira can enjoy this. 360 camera. They got the 360 camera. Oh, on this Integra coach. There's Tanya. Very cool. Look at those sausages. Well, that's, that's curious. That's the apple. Go tell her that she's got yours. Can I just peanut butter on it? Um, I think I want to lie there too. Would you like a smaller or large? Large. Is that everything? All right, we're not gonna do a full workup on open range today, but I was talking with an open range rep real quick about some of my gripes with open range, and I come up here to find that open range has a new mega couch, and it looks more comfortable than the old giant U-shaped dinette. I'm excited. Even the squared off table as opposed to the big ovals is a big improvement. Wow. And recliners over here. Now the only downside is, if somebody wanted to go to this room, Kaylin is the gatekeeper. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. But what do y'all think of the lighter colors? Okay, I gotta sit in this couch. Oh. It feels more cushy. I feel like there's more cushion to this than than what we've got. I think this is more logical than what they've had in the past with the giant U-shaped dinette. So it's an electric recliner. So you have to pull that down in order to recline and decline and whatever recline and all the climbs. I like the new colors. I like the wood grain them. Hello, shower. Did you see this shower? Yes. Hello, shower. Where have you been all my life? Is that next to 
Why does it not have a Max fan? Yeah. Hey, oh, we were trying to, to touch with you. Get a haircut, eh? Get a haircut, eh? Hey. Hey. So we're finishing out this uh, media day, industry day, dealer day, whatever you want to call it, here at the RV show in Hershey, uh, which they still call America's largest RV show. This is inside, this is the Giant Center where I guess they have some sports that go on here as well as concerts. Right now they've got a bunch of vendors down here on the floor that you can check out during the day. There's a cool VIP thing where we're all getting to kind of mingle and get some ho horse doovers, as I call them, you know, hors d'oeuvres. I'm just being dad with dad jokes. But as everybody's gathering, we've got a lot of people that are staying at the Thousand Trails Hershey and they're like, we can't go to the campground. I'm like, what do you mean we can't go to the campground? Somebody's lithium ion battery caught fire and the firefighters were having a hard time putting it out and they shut down access to getting back into the park. So we're all just kind of sitting here waiting for word that we can even go back home. Thankfully we know what site it is. It's not too, it's a little ways away from our site. Sounds like the biggest concern is gonna be the water from putting the fire out, kind of rushing past our RV, going down to the lake. Kind of a bummer. So it's been an adventurous, exciting day. Uh, this is, uh, this is fun, I enjoy it. It's very exhausting though. We only got five RVs reviewed today. I'll have those videos come up as I get them all edited out. I'm talking with some other people who are saying we should have a contest. How many RVs can you review in a day? One guy's like, I did 25 last year. I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't even imagine. I'd be so exhausted. But this is fun. This is so cool. And like, if you are looking for a new RV and you're just curious, you know, you want to see the differences between the, the different brands. So a lot of times like mid bunks, for example, you know, you want to put your kids into a mid bunk fifth wheel and a lot of the different brands have mid bunks, but they'll do things different. Where is the placement of the door? How did they situate the desk or TV or closet inside of them? So that's what makes these kind of RV shows, the really big ones, awesome because now you can come out here and pretty much see every one of them. They're all here. That's why it's so much fun to come to these giant RV shows. There's a, I guess the RV sales team over there getting a pep talk. All right, I'll go ahead and end this video. My feet are killing me. I can't sit down because I have spare microphones and, and, and everything in my back pocket. We're about to head home. Remember that life happens, even uh, long days of standing up all day. Don't let that stop you. Stay fresh, cheese bags.